Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Game Found Critique, where I take a look at a different Game Found project every single time, get my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. I do it every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and today I'm very excited to be checking out the massively popular $451,000 raised in just a couple hours, Andromeda's Edge. It's got 23 days left to go. Goals reached in 8 minutes. It has 22,000 hearts. That is... That's really good. 10,000 more than the Batman game, which has roughly the same amount of cash. Interesting. And Dropper's Edge, a long abandoned sector littered with the remnants of the precursor civilization, ancient technology, and forgotten secrets are waiting to be re rediscovered, but many starships have journeyed here and vanished. So if I'm not here specifically to look at Andromeda's at Edge, I don't feel like this really convinces me that much. Science fiction, strategy, area control. So I know it's an area control game. I know it has solo play. I do like that. I do like that a lot. Uh, stretch pay, that's neat. But, but looking at the main image, it, like, it's, it's it's just space. Just space stuff. All right. Uh, as always, though, when we go into the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. 208. Love that. From the developer and de uh, designer of Dwellings of Elder Vale, massively popular game, and acclaimed artist Sergio Chavez. We have reached Andrew. I would have put what Sergio Chavez has done, like a couple examples of his art, get me excited about it. Mother's Edge, a place of both opportunity and danger. A region of space filled with the modular debris of a precursor civilization, patrolled by raiders and bordered by dense nebulae. We are among the desperate factions fleeing tyranny and oppression that have come here seeking a new home, including the Dark Star Acolytes. Fungi Nas Morgots, Mechoron Synthborn, and more. So it's going straight theme and artwork here, which I'm normally not a big fan of. I will say I do like the fact that we're we're pretty much insinuating that there's going to be asymmetric classes in this, asymmetric characters. So I do like that. We will forge a new future, constructing bold developments and upgrading our ships to journey to the farthest reaches of the edge, while also defending ourselves from raiders and rival factions. This is our last hope for survival. Welcome to Andromeda's Edge, a board game for one to five players. Ooh. Feature. I really like that that pivot from like the straight gameplay to the, that twang on the guitar. That was interesting. Hey, Peter, one of the, the people from the company here. If you got any questions, be sure to leave it in the chat. Ring. In I like that spot set right there. I see that that is a thick box. Individual player powers. Ooh, look at that. That looks like a nice, clean, clear play area. Zoom up for me. Tableau engine building, worker placement, area control, wow. and management, and dice battles. Oh, that is, that is so much. It just hit me with mechanism after mechanism after mechanism. I'm excited now. I'm excited. With only a space station and a handful of starships. By placing ships, you will gather resources, claim moons, Acquire modules to add to your station. And the player insert looks like it's super functional for the game. I love that. I appreciate that. Yes. Populate planets and build great developments. Oh, cool. But beware. Other factions seek the edge too. Battle opponents and intergalactic raiders in a quick and exciting card and dice play. You know, it's given me it's given me a little bit of Twilight Imperium vibes, just a smidge, just a smidge. But I mean, it's a space four X. Are we Xing here? Are we four Xing? Compete with others in science, industry, commerce, civilization, and supremacy. I love that shot right there, showing that it's going to have all the stuff in the box. That is nice. Good afternoon, Mr. Mormo. Game trays, all pretty. Andromeda's Edge. Your destiny awaits. Now on Game Found. Okay. I'm intrigued. It's piqued my interest. One to five players, two hours, 14 plus. So that I would like on the marquee, potentially. I feel like that tells me a lot, especially a solo game that plays two hours. Like, that gets me excited. This may be my first Game Found purchase. Go Battlehaven. Do it to it. Uh, but, Cardboard Alchemy, now I believe they have one other game out, which is, we'll double check that real quick, which is uh, one of my favorite games of last year, Flamecraft. Yeah, so I think they only have one other game out. Yeah, so that is, oh no, there's Mission Catastrophe as well. 
Uh, where's the board game geek? Okay. But can you do it? Yes, I feel comfortable on that one. I do want to check the, uh, the, the Kickstarter, though. So what is that? Flamecraft Kickstarter. Always like to do the due diligence. Make sure it's not a flaming dumpster fire in the comments there. I don't believe so because I actually get the emails, and I remember it being really top-notch customer service. Flamecraft, yeah, I really enjoy that one. I, I, I've, I've taught it to a couple people. And the consensus is, yeah, that's good. But I've also had some people say, mm, it's a bit much. I still see the good, but I think they went a bit too far with all the stuff, the moving parts and pieces. Uh, so, yeah, I think they only had one other Kickstarter because I don't think they did the... Oh, my goodness. Here we go. So, Mission Catastrophe and the Essential Elements. I think these are just components. So, let's make sure people got their stuff. A Mission Catastrophe update. This is from May 3rd, 2022. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure people got their stuff. Or else this would be still waiting for my copy. And any help would be super appreciated two months ago. Collaborator, boom. So, that's what I want to see here. Great customer service. We had one straggler uh, who couldn't, who didn't have their stuff, and they, they handled it. So, good. Can you do it? Yes, I feel good. Looks like there's a solid pedigree here. Company on the come up button. Like it. Uh, so, designer Luke and Maximus Lori. Luke, is it? Luke and Maximus, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, for some reason I had an issue reading that. And Art Sergio Chavez. Now I thought that was an interesting choice in the video there. If they mentioned Sergio's name and not anything else that he'd done, if he, or they've done, if it's if they've done games, yet they didn't mention the designer of the game's name. They only mentioned the fact that they'd made a different game. And I thought that was interesting. Because I personally think it would have been helpful too if you would have mentioned, like, instead of his name, like what he had done. Because I could probably look that up. Seek the Edge, Worker Placement, Tableau. Because I see this artwork. It looks gorgeous. 40 minutes per player. Okay. Interesting shaped box. Looks like Ticket to Ride almost, except thicker, maybe? Minis, but not too many minis. It doesn't look like it's a minis game per se. Looks like the minis are part of the game. Uh, delivers it all fresh, refined combat, polished progression, and super fun player interaction. Okay. I like that quote, focusing on the things that they actually enjoyed in the game, not that it's fantastic. Delivers on all fronts, game of the year candidate. Uh, Dwellings of Elder Vera, better. Like that one. Like, okay. So it's, it's like that game, but better? Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying it's... Because that, like, what what about that game is this like? New to GameFound. Cool. And I see the price already. Once again, I love how GameFound does this. So $189 all in. That's me. I need to be convinced $189. That's a big one. Starships, transport, fighter. Transportation is a precise business. Sturdy hole makes it ideal. So now we're going into the weeds about the different components. Also showcasing the minis, which I like. Development minis. So this is only in the deluxe edition. Okay. So standard edition, deluxe edition. Okay, so I'm going to try and figure this out. Standard edition is over here. Deluxe edition is over here. Is that right? This is the way. Ship minis. No players. Starships do not include actual antimatters. Development minis. Ooh, oh, this looks sick. May you find your towers, the factory, game trace, deluxe edition. No flamecraft, all in PM boo. Whoa, Sydney Johnson. We'll get you we'll get you handled there. Uh cargo hold player trace, because we got we got Peter in here who's from there. Um from Cardboard Alchemist. Cargo hold player trace. That looks so nice. Okay. The fields module trays. Very nice. I like how you can like poke them, like poke them down. And Drama's Edge refines and builds on the me mechanics of dwellings in all the right ways. It's the same DNA, but a more complex, satisfying, and re replayable experience. That's the quote that I wanted. The first, the these, those two quotes are the exact same, except this kid did all the homework and the other kid just copied it. Like, now I'm not saying that that's actually what happened, but that's what it feels like. This is this is the quote that I feel like is like, oh, that sounds good. Especially if I play Dwelling as of Eldervale, which is a really popular game. Howdy, Huckleberry. No, that section applies to both standard and deluxe. Thank you for the clarification. How to play. Launch a starship. Unique workers with range and abilities for strange strategic choices. That's really cool. That, that gets me excited. Activate a region. Claim limited resources, voyage to the edge, or utilize key alliance bases. K, okay. battle opponents with the dice chucking. Return to the station, tableau engine building, using ships and energy for huge turns. This is the part where it sounds like it's doing weird stuff that I don't even understand, but I want to understand. Luckily, the rule booklets are here. Love that. I love the Santa jacket. It's not a Santa jacket. It's a, it's a me jacket. Why is it his look? I'm taking it back for everybody. Everybody should be able to wear this and not 
get stared at. Not have children try and sit on your lap when you're trying to eat at McDonald's. It's just... Can't even go back to that McDonald's. Exotic matter, promos, bonus module packs, and more. Galactic savings, discover the truth. So these, so now we're talking about why back now. Uh, promos, bonus module packs, and more. Some items, including the deluxe edition entirely, will be limited resources in the universe. Backing on GameFound now is the best way to ensure to get all the precious goods. So this feels like one of those ones where we're going to be hitting more and more and more and more and more and more stuff, which is why I'm going to be convinced to do the $189 one. Now, that's a very dangerous tactic. It works for some companies, like CMON pulls it off, but sometimes you see companies that that they there's a very delicate balancing act. So I'm I'm excited to see how this works, how they're doing this. Galactic Savings. Your credits go further in the Game Found Galaxy. All in has the best value with stretch pay options and tons of add-ons for less. The Game Tray storage system comes with the deluxe box. It's invaluable for getting more games to the table. Every reward includes the Battle Against Unity and fifth player Excalation expansion. Nice. The base game will be two to four players, but on Game Found, one to five players are built in. This is very clean and clear, and I appreciate it. Discover the future. The best games are yet to be made. Only the Game Found you can help decide where we go. Be part of the experience of creating a great game to last through all time and space. Gain unique access to designers and production team and get your voice heard in creative content and this is what i was excited about flamecraft was a really fantastic kickstarter project i thought it was ran in such a fun interesting way with it was like contests and this and that and it was just it was well done so i was really excited to see how what they're doing here and it looks like they're doing much of the same the only thing that seems confusing about this page is that the all-in pledge states all add-ons included and then in other parts it says you have to complete puzzles for them a little unclear Steven Bassett, they already announced they wouldn't add the option to buy any Flamecraft stuff except related promo for Andromeda's Edge. Oh, I thought you were saying you didn't get your stuff through. I'm confused. Campaign perks, the Ancient Brain, hailing from the... That looks cool. Hailing from the Chaos Realm between the galaxies, the Ancient Brain has arrived in Andromeda for, for reasons unknown. Surrounded by a field of dangerous brainwaves that strikes relentlessly, predicting its foes every move. It cannot be deceived or manipulated. Oh, cool. Is that like a third a third party that's like running around space? Because that that's that's hot. Like, that's, honestly, to me, that's what bumps Zaya Legends of a Drift System to a game that I'm never going to get rid of. Just when you have other random entities floating out in space, I love this. Solve any puzzles to gain the bonus Raider mini standee and card. Uh, to all followers of the campaign, also available with all in pledge. So there's another faction. Wow! Ooh. There's a dragon faction! Subscribe to the cardboard, the Cowboard Alchemy newsletter, also available with all in pledge or as an add-on. Yeah! This is, this is brilliant, by the way. This is like a whole half Freud great bump up because this is betting on your future. Like you're like, hey, we're gonna give you this free tangible thing. We're gonna print this. We're gonna we're gonna spend money to print this just because you sign up for our newsletters, and we're hopefully gonna crush this so hard that the next time we launch a Kickstarter, you're gonna want to be a part of it because it's an exciting, living, breathing organism. It's a Kickstarter or game found project they need to come back to. So I love this. Can't believe I hey Don, what's up? Gotcha. Uh, best games that Luke Glory has ever designed. Now that that's a that's a quote. That's a hell of a quote. That's a that's a hardcore nerd quote. But Luke Glory, that's some respect on that name right there. And that's one thing that I don't feel like we have done a little bit enough. Uh, let me go to mid uh, minutes to midnight. Minutes to midnight. Because I believe we're talking about a game designer who has numerous top one thousands. He didn't do that one. Oops. <laughs> Big oof on that one. Manhattan Project. Uh, he didn't do this one either? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I look like a new... I could have... What games am I thinking of? Dwell I know he's done Dwellings. But he's done... I could have sworn he done a minute... Energy Empire, there it is. So yeah, whistle. My, so three games in the top one thousand. And don't sleep on Stones of Fate. I don't know why Stones of Fate's that low. That's a solid game. Three games in the top one thousand. Four games in the top fifteen hundred. That's fantastic. I would have spotlighted that pedigree a little bit more. Uh, because yeah, best game designer that Luke Glory has ever designed, and he's got three games that are in the top. Like that's huge. All in deluxe plus add-ons. Get it for $63 a month. That's such an interesting idea. I love that. I, I quite frankly love that. And here's the bottom line. Even if you never use it, that's such a nice thing that it's there. Like GameFound, coming in strong there. I criticize GameFound a lot, but I also compliment a lot that they do. And this is one of those. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, so $189. Bucks. <sighs> okay. it's a lot. So we got the Deluxe Edition. Let's see what we got. Whoa, tons of stuff. We got, so we saw this a little bit earlier, okay, the deluxe gorgeous components, the game trays, the stuff, 
and we have a whole bunch of other stuff to click on as well. The retail, oh, no, here it is. Wash ministers, wooden moons, and more upgrades. Ooh, okay, nice. I wish this was all like lumped together. This is kind of all right. Oh, because then I got to go back into more info. Is there a way? Am I doing this wrong? So this is the extra faction card, which comes with a board and ship upgrade. Wow, that's great. Now let's, let's see if I can do it. Can I just go? Oh, I can go back. I have to go back, and boom, that's how you do it. Module expansion pack, flame keepers, fraction cards, and ship. Oh, so these are things you can add to the pledge. No, this product has everything. Okay. The Ancient Brain Raider. So they're going to continue to keep adding things to this. That's really nice. And that's one of the... GameFound! GameFound coming in strong right there once again. With the ability to add things onto a pledge. I think that's what this is. Because that's one thing that is a huge no-no on Kickstarter. Like once anyone backs your, one of, your project your uh, particular pledge, you cannot modify it in any way, shape, or form. So if that's the kind of thing where you can add to it, that's really cool. Um, also, concerns me, like, a little dangerous. Then we have the $69 one. I'm excited to see this one. So 9 bucks above MSRP, Standard Edition, Esca plus it, but it comes with an expansion, which has 9-player starships, 21-player pieces. So, wow, that's Lucky Duck Games. Whoa, I think I feel like that's hidden a little bit. I would lean into that a little bit more. I would have mentioned that a little bit. Because here's the bottom line. If they haven't played Flamecraft or Mission Catastrophe, who the hell are you? Well, Lucky Duck Games, I see that, and I'm like, oh, okay, Lucky Duck Games is touching one of their games in any way, shape, or form. They got, like I said, they got a solid gold pedigree in my mind right now. Uh, if you're doing anything with Lucky Duck, I would spotlight that a little bit. Deluxe Edition, plus the built-in escalation. and all. So what is the difference to the Deluxe Edition plus the add-ons? Okay, and how many people took this one? This one's the 311, so not, not nearly as popular. Most people are taking the all-everything-everything everything one, which is good. That's what, they, that's what you want. What does this one have? This just has the Deluxe Edition? Why would anyone take that? Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> here's the thing. Big Lucky Duck energy lately. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how GameFound does it, but I will get it all in the all-in scroll. Cool. See, like this, I feel like they did a great job convincing me on the value. $129 for this? I don't know. But there's so much stuff here. It's so much stuff. Because that's all miniatures fancified, so that's a whole thing of upgrades. That's another faction, so it's a mini promo, mini promo, uh, module expansion pack, mini promo. Like, all the stuff that they'll be able to sell potentially. No, they're not going to sell. I don't even know. Set of five neoprene dice trays? Completely unnecessary. Very nice. Thank you. Card sleeve set? Jumbo marbled Raider dice. Okay. Moon art drink coaster. <laughs> You're pushing a little bit here. The more I click, the more I'm like, eh, okay. Uh, but still. Okay. Back, back to business. I worth them getting hit for their science vessel mini via copyright. Looks way, way, way too Star Trek. Yeah, I didn't notice that, but yeah, now that you mentioned it, it, it does definitely look like it. Social goals opening on February seventh. That's exciting. That's also the incorrect word. Interesting was the word I was looking for. That's interesting. So I wonder if they did that because they just assumed the first week buzz. You know, you got that, and then like we want the second. We want like a second boom buzz, and so we don't open the social goals until February seventh. I kind of feel like that's genius. I hope this works really well for them, and I'm probably going to mention this in the future. Because, but I don't think it would work for everyone. I don't think it'd work for everyone. I think a lot of companies need that initial big push. Whereas this one, they've got a great pedigree. They got Flamecraft, which I think was was a lot of people's were enjoying last year. I saw tons of pictures on social media of that one. New regions, new component upgrades, new faction, new gameplay, new tactic cards. Awesome stuff. And what do we got here? Looks like a looks like a roll and write game almost. Puzzles to win. Solve any puzzle, win the Ancient Brain Mini slash Sandy. Alert the Ancient Brain promotion is only during the campaign. Solve any puzzles to enter the grand prize drawing for the all-in reward. Enter by February 20th. Winner selected February 21st. I will say I like how clean and clear the information here. Uh, there's enough difference and legally distinct shapes. Good. <laughs> Take me to the puzzle. Okay. It takes everything I love about Dwelling of Eldevales and elevates it to the next level. So, I, I once again... 
I still like this one better than the first one, but I think the second one is the best one, and they're all saying pretty much the same thing. It's giving me Caverna Agricola vibes, and that's a really good thing. That's a really good vibe to get, because Agricola is still objectively a great game, but Caverna is just objectively kind of a better game. Uh, and if that's the case here, like, whoo, that's, that's hot. The engine building is a highlight for me. Maximizing resources and climbing the track as you race to get those victory points. Okay, talking about component factions. Uh, people, stuff, lore, Zodian warmongers, Arconians. What do I want? I want shipping. Once again, I can't complain because I can just immediately click on it because GameFound's awesome like that. Going into the weeds on the game. Cool. Number of factions, six unlocked main game factions, two unlocked expansion factions, two unlocked promo factions. Wow! Now that right there gives me a good sense of the value. There was only six, and now there's ten, and we're, we're, we're like three hours in. Like, how much do they have planned? Like, because I don't even see the stretch goals yet. Or is this it? Is this like everything? It's like, hey, we were just shooting our shot. Everybody gets all this stuff right now. I'm excited. Because, no, because the social stretch goals are going to add other stuff. So the social stretch goals are what's going to keep coming. Either way, there's so much here. Raiders. The edge is not without its danger, and raiders at the top of the list emerging from the nebula. These extragalactic menaces prey mercilessly on factions. Sensors are constantly identifying new raiders, but they fall into several classes. Uh, global. These scourges affect operations across the edge. They look cool. They float around. They do stuff. Great. Unity. Solo mode. I love we're talking about it. Rolling the die determines which board's action row is activated. Cool. You talk a little bit about the solo autonomous play it now in tabletop simulator. Love having that. Skip the manual. Ace pilot standing by. Discord willing to teach you how to do it. You want to look at the rule booklet. Where is it? Well, this is the puzzle. Here's the rule booklet. How many pages we got? Game setup. Uh, we got components too. Where's the components? Component list. Main tokens. One thing. So there's going to be pictures here. There it is. So it'll be a big setup diagram, presumably with all the numbers. Pictures, illustrations, examples. That's what I want to love to see. Looks good. Oh, look at the back of that rule booklet. You can tell so much about a game company by the back of their rule booklet. And I, like, let, tell me you don't, tell me the back of that rule booklet is not just the prettiest dang thing you've ever seen. Like, when I see a game like that, I'm like, good. Good. And I imagine there's probably even player reference cards, too. You can have both. I've done rules for people that are like, do we need both? Like, yeah. Yeah, you need both. Why not? Like, would you want both? Of course you'd want both. Uh, seven Ways Andromeda Edge Improves on Dwellings of Elder Vales. Wow. That is a to-the-point title. I like that. Andromeda's Edge Learn While Playing. Is this a full gameplay? <laughs> cool. Dice Tower Preview. Epic. Uh, what is this? Is it an epic. I guess that's a preview. Preview. What's changed? Most anticipated preview. Not a how to play or review. So it's a demo. One good turn. Okay, so it gives you a whole turn. 100% player aid cards. Nice. That's a lot of rulebook done already, Peter. Yeah, and I imagine they'll get a lot of feedback from the... From the oh, here we go. Future Languages. Partner with Lucky Duck for French, Italian, Polish. Beautiful retailer's pack. Yeah, that's a big boxer. That's a bigger box. Uh, I'm trying to think of the size box that that, that, that makes me think of. Um, it's another space game. And then the, so there's the standard. Okay. The thick shipping... What do we got? 22, deluxe all in. So I'm the deluxe plus the add-ons. I'm the, I'm the all in. So 28. Looking at a 200. Oh man, 207 dollars. I tell you what, you gonna ask somebody for 207 dollars? I think, I think they did enough whining and dino in there. You know. Meet the artist Sergio Chavez, illustrator, board games, books, visual design, uh, Starship of Choice. Okay. Maybe it was because he did uh, this game, which looks dropped in gorgeous, but I don't think feel like Mission Catastrophe was the was the biggest hit like that that a whole bunch of people know about. Uh, meet the designers, cool people, stuff, things, other projects you love. All right, your pledge. Let's check it out. Oh, the comments. No, I guess uh, updates. Well, I'd be able to play solo if I get the standard edition plus escalation expansion. Yes, Freddy the real one, pledge master. Uh, the only possible issue with priority shipping I see is when everybody has priority shipping, then nobody has priority shipping. Not a gripe, just an observation. Not everyone will take the all-in pledge. Most people will, though. Most people are really excited for the launch. Less than one week to go. Would anyone like to see the trailer? Cool. And I love how GameFound lets people get hyped before the campaign. So smart. It's expensive, but based on Dwellings, I feel like I'll get value for money. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Dwellings of Elder Vale. 
I imagine that is a lot of people's grail game. I've never even played that one. But I and then FAQ, being able to search the FAQ. Oh, I have a question about shipping. Ha oh, Kickstarter, why can't you copy that? Like how dumb are you? Like how how stupid are you, Kickstarter? I'm just gonna come to my roof and just insult you until you fix things that obviously should be fixed. How hard is this? Program it in. Tip type typer. You're a billion dollar company. Come on. Maybe not a billion. Yeah, probably a billion. Maybe. Hundreds of millions. NAQ. Uh, updates. Andromeda's Edge under a dragon moon. So this is the 12 1. 1026. So they have been mum since 12 1, but then just popping off day one. They don't have an update yet because it just launched. It is doing spectacular. And so, do I want it? Yes. Uh, I'd say about the minute point of the video, once we start really talking about the different components, I was interested. Artwork looks great. Pedigree looks great. I would have spotlighted the pedigree a little bit more, I think. But do I want it? Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, you got you got this much buzz. Nearly a half. Like, think about that. This is their third game. Third game. Half million dollars in like three hours like like that's 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 amazing kudos crushing it uh so do i want it can you do it yes how much is it it's high it's real high but it feels like one of those games that it's like you don't expect to see this version in retail kind of thing and you feel like you could probably flip this for a good chunk of whatever you paid for it after the fact or trade Something like that. So at the end of the day, I feel like this is over a really solid project. Plus, it only, it answers the fourth question, which is like an unofficial question, because it's, do I want it, can you do it, how much is it, but why do I come back? Which isn't necessary, I think, in a campaign, but it really helps things out. Granted, on GameFound, there's no real popularity charts. They just kind of spotlight certain stuff, and I have a feeling they're going to be spotlighting this most of the time. Uh, but yes, I'm interested to come back for those social goals. They made it look like an interesting thing. Oh, yeah, the puzzle. I mean, there's a puzzle. Prizes that, so what do I, just click on one of these? Oh, I can click on it. Ooh, what is, so what is this? The Dark Star Acolytes. Data log. Most Starfarers have healthy fear of the void. Dark, so there's a puzzle to do here. Solve the puzzle. Email. Correct solution. Need a hint. Try Discord. I'm sure someone will be able to help you out. So pretty much it's a cheap button, but great. Not that you'd want to flip it. I mean, no, if it's a great... Like, it looks like a great game. Like, no joke. Flamecraft is going to be on my shelf for a very long time. Uh, I've probably played it four or five times now. Two of those times were after I was done shooting all my content, which is very... It, it doesn't happen that often. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go with a minus. A minus. And I'm going to go with a B... Mm, B plus. I think that main image. I want to go back to the game. But it's like this. This just looks so generic and spacey. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard because GameFound has the stupid square instead of the rectangle. But I feel like Statera. Like, the, you have great components... You have a great designer, and yet I just get nothing but just generic space theme from everything in the main image. No, I'm still going with an A minus. I love the so I love the social goals a week after factor. I think that's a half point grade bump up. I hope that really works really well for him. And in the poll of the day, we had 17 votes. Have you back to Game Found Project? 76% said yes. 12% said no, and 12% no, but it's only a matter of time. Very cool. But if you're enjoying this Kickstarter co game found content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers in 2023 to make it my biggest year ever. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. Boop.